Have you ever wondered, just how much radiation you are exposed to on a plane? Today, I will show you what I found, when I took a Geiger counter on a domestic flight in China. Before you rush off and buy a Geiger counter, and start taking your own measurements on aircraft, I would like to offer a little advice. Most Geiger counters, just like mine, has the internationally recognized, trefoil symbol on the front panel. I would strongly advise that you cover that up with some tape, or even better, a friendly looking smiley sticker. But why bother? What is the worst that could possibly happen? The sole foreigner on and domestic Chinese flight, so stands out like a sore thumb, furtively operating, a strange looking device, that has the internationally recognized symbol for a radiation hazard, printed right on the front of it. Add in the effect of nervous passengers, and you can just imagine the possible result. Okay, so now I have covered over the offending symbol. I took some baseline measurements at sea level. I am using a 5 minute averaging process, and get a dose rate about 0.17 microsieverts per hour. When I try the same measurement with welding rods that contain a tiny amount of thorium, a radioactive metal, I get a dose rate about 2.5 times higher than the natural background level. When the aircraft was at cruising altitude, I made a new measurement and got a reading that was about 4 times the ground level dose rate. However, this is about 4 times lower than I was expecting it to be. Before I explain why that was, perhaps I should explain where this radiation is coming from. Our Earth, is constantly being bombarded by cosmic ray particles, that are slamming into the atmosphere, and releasing cascades of gamma rays, as well as other forms of radiation. However, the aircraft cabin will be shielded from the alpha and beta particles, by the plane's body itself, so we will only see the gamma rays. Any small residual alpha or beta radiation inside the cabin, will be from the low levels of natural radioactivity, of the aircraft and even its passengers. So, the higher up we are, the less atmosphere there is to protect us from the effects of these cosmic rays, and hence the background radiation will increase. So, why was my measurement lower than expected? I had read that the levels can be as high as 3 microsieverts, and I saw, just under 0.7. The reason, is probably due to the cruising height of this short haul flight. I checked on the flight radar app and it seems that this flight topped out at just 24,500 feet. Long haul flights typically cruise at significantly higher altitude, of around 37,500 feet, and so we'll see higher background radiation levels. I found this graph, in a research paper, that correlates measured background radiation versus altitude, and the figures I am seeing, really do track well with this data. Oh, I nearly forgot, one final thing to be sure of, is to turn your Geiger counter's automatic alarm off. This alarm is normally enabled by default, and usually kicks in at 0.5 microsieverts per hour. Which means it will trigger at about 20,000 feet. And having your radiation alarm go off in an aircraft at 20,000 feet, might generate a little anxiety amongst your fellow passengers, and... Well, we can all guess how that... might end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and, if you would like to see more like this, then you could always subscribe to my little hobby channel. Thank you for watching.